The thing is that this was March 49. Already a lot of people were arrested and uh, everybody just waited. So I didn't know anything, um, but now I sort of recall that um, my dad was pacing a lot, that he wasn't sleeping, that he was, that there was a lot of whispering, that sometimes people came and went and they tried not to be like, like they were trying to be invisible and there was all this whispering going on. And so from that I gather that all the news were reaching them immediately, who was arrested in Kiev, who was arrested in Moscow or in, in Kharkov. And so That's it was expected, um, and um, and then just you know one day they were in our apartment, and uh, there was a search, and my father had to sit in a chair, and I had to sit in another chair, <laughs> uh, um, in a in in. in uh, not in the same room. He was in his study. He had his own study, a uh, very nice room with all his books and his papers. And uh, so um, I don't know what they were looking for. Uh, I think they found a copy of Mein Kampf. Uh, of course, he, uh, he would have a copy of Mein Kampf because he was interested. <laughs> I, and he could read it. In any case, uh, that's the the one thing that um, I, I kind of remember. Uh, not that I knew what it was, but it's they were the uh, these were small town KGB people. So when they saw the book, they were walking around from one to another. There were eight of them uh, uh, and showing mind comfort. Otherwise, all his books and all his papers. They were in German or in Yiddish. They couldn't, or Romanian. They couldn't read. They didn't know what it was with Mein Kampf. You know, everybody know knew the cover of the book. So, uh, so they took all his papers. They took many of the books. Uh, then they um, <clears throat> uh, sort of closed. There were two doors to to his studies. Uh, uh, they were stamped with, you know, not to enter, not to remove the um, um, the taping, um, and uh, you know, and they took my dad, and I saw it all from the window. I watched, you know, how they, and there was no one on the street. The street that we lived on was always very busy, kids. It was like everybody disappeared. So it must have been immediately, you know, the news went out. And it was eerie. Uh, it was a really, uh, like for us, from a surrealistic movie uh, scenes, you know, it's just quiet. Or I remember it as no sound, but there was not nobody there. And how it happened spontaneously, or there were some um, KGB plainclothesmen who were guarding the entry to to the to our stretch of the street, so, sort of a block, uh, but there was no one there. And then for hours afterwards, nobody came out.